illustration of how these LED bulbs for retrofitting the uh, 12 volt lighting systems work. Um, you see a lot of differences in these. How like this one's got its own sealed housing. This one doesn't. Obviously, because this one has a hell of a lot more elements to it, it's going to be a lot brighter. This one, believe it or not, is red. Okay, when I ordered these, I wasn't looking all that closely at the picture. Um, even though the bulbs look clear, when these turn on, they're red. Uh, but just to show you, sometimes when you see LED bulbs at different prices, you, you can't always tell what you're getting even by the price point because there's a lot of differences in these things. Here are those two different bulbs installed. Now, they're both sold and advertised as the same size and type of uh, LED bulb, but obviously different make and model for the particular brands that make them. They're installed in identical housings, and you can tell one's obviously a lot brighter than the other. Price-wise, there was only about a $2 difference in price between the two. So, you know, getting what you pay for kind of varies a lot on these things. But if you want more light, you got to look at more elements in a bulb. Uh, the other thing is, I'm getting wildly different uh, numbers in my little voltage meter on how much some of these things use too. So, you just gotta, you know, if you're gonna light stuff off, you gotta get, you gotta get the stuff and test it. See how you like it. There are some people that don't like that kind of bright UV style on the uh, on those LEDs, and when they run this style here because it's a more natural light, they prefer it. I don't like it a hell of a lot because it's it's just not a lot of light but it, it, some people like the natural wavelength mixing it I guess is okay uh, the other thing you get in these types of situations is you know because of the nature of the way trailers are set up on the inside and our travel trailers and sometimes small cabins you um, you gotta have multiple light in multiple places to get all the little corners lit up because you can't just have um, a single large high ceiling fixture that in its own little way simulates the sun being out you, you've got to be able to light all the little corners or they're not lit and of course I, I run mirrors in here to also the reflect and scavenge that light around it's, it's not pure you know personal vanity it's, it's the idea is to reflect that light around with all these lights on I can still look in some of these mirrors and it's it's kind of dark um, so to have something that's you know not going to get you all depressed with cabin fever, uh, you, you got to have a lot of these things. There's, there's no such thing as having a LED light bulb. You got to have a bunch of them to fill in all the little dark spots in something. And uh, I I don't live here. I, I you know I'll be honest with you. I, I'm not sure if I'd enjoy it either. Uh, and this is just kind of a backup plan. And, uh, and it's raining now, so I'm doing a maintenance checkup again.